That's how the cycle should look, but unfortunately today, not many cycles look like that. So, our million dollar question is, why? So let's have a look at what throws the hormones out of balance. 1957, the first contraceptive pill was introduced to women. The 1960s is called the sexual revolution. Women wanted to be able to have sex without having babies. And so the contraceptive pill was introduced. What is the pill? The pharmaceutical companies grow acres and acres of Mexican wild yam. In a laboratory, the plant chemical that's in Mexican wild yam is extracted. And in a laboratory, it's converted to progesterone. It's called progesterone because it has an identical molecular structure to the progesterone that the body makes. But the pharmaceutical company can't patent that. You know, they, can, they can't patent sodium bicarbonate either. So they have to change it. They have to create something else. So they come up with, uh, they add a few more atoms to that progesterone and come up with synthetic estrogen. Add a few more atoms and come up with a synthetic progesterone. You see, in the 19, early 1990s, it was acknowledged that estrogen is a known human carcinogen. And pill up until then was just straight estrogen. So by law, they had to add some progesterone. But it's synthetic progesterone, so it really doesn't help a lot because it inhibits your progesterone uptake. So when these synthetic hormones, which are in the pill, are taken into the body, let me show you what's happening. So number one hormone should be progesterone, number two estrogen. Month after month on the pill, the body now thinks it's pregnant, so it doesn't release the egg. 